Someday we might live on floating islands. The Maritime Research Institute Netherlands is testing the concept of building artificial floating islands to expand the amount of livable space for the country's growing population. The islands would be made up of large floating triangles that connect to each other in a flexible fashion. The island could be five kilometers wide. The floating space could be used for housing and public infrastructure and support renewable energy systems, such as wind and solar energy farms. There are many challenges to this concept. It is still unknown how the floating megastructure would withstand winds and ocean currents. Nonetheless, some believe the Dutch research is a good starting point. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. With sea levels continuing to rise, we may soon have no choice but to live on floating structures. Pipe dream no more. Imagine this, a fully automated floating city, free from government meddling, with no laws, regulations, or taxes. Once just a libertarian fantasy, it's now just a few years from becoming reality. On January 13th, French Polynesia agreed to host the world's first floating city, or seastead, within its protected waters. The Seastead aims to be a special economic zone that will develop innovative technologies for solar power, aquaculture, and wind energy. Design-wise, the floating city will consist of interconnected square and pentagonal platforms made from reinforced concrete. Platforms will have a variety of structures, from residential and commercial to green spaces, with pricing per square foot on par with major cities like New York or London. The project's initial islands will cost a combined total estimated at 10 million to 50 million dollars and will house a few dozen people. With rising sea levels threatening many Pacific islands, seastead advocates believe floating cities may be a solution. The presence of floating communities could also spark recovery for the region's dying corals by slightly lowering water temperatures in their vicinity. The Seasteading Institute will have to complete environmental and economic feasibility studies, but construction on the project could start as early as next year. Shipping containers become floating dorms for students. A Copenhagen startup has created an innovative student dormitory that floats on water. The containers are placed on top of a concrete pontoon base and stacked in two levels to create 12 dorm rooms. Each room is a studio setting with bedroom and living room areas. The space in the middle is an open air courtyard and the top level features a small lawn and solar panels. The walls are insulated with aerogel. The temperatures inside the units are controlled by hydro source heating. A heat exchange system draws upon the thermal mass of seawater to cool and warm the dorms. The basement of the pontoon features more facilities such as storage zones and an automated laundry room. The company claims the structure would not be impacted by flooding as they will rise and fall along with the sea currents. The rent for one room would be roughly 600 US dollars per month, which is a bargain in Copenhagen. Urban Rigor has already received over 3,000 applications from students who are interested in living on water. Artwork allows people to walk on water. Bulgarian-born ego artist Christo has unveiled his latest installation a work that allows people to experience something akin to walking on water. The Floating Piers is a three kilometer long floating walkway on Italy's Lake Isio. It links the town of Suzano to Monte Sola and San Paolo Islands. The walkway consists of 220,000 interlocking high density polyethylene cubes, which are anchored to concrete structures on the lake bed. The walkway is covered by a yellow fabric that changes color from red to gold depending on the weather and light. The walkway moves with the motion of the water as people walk across it. Christo previously worked with his late wife, Jean Claude, who died in 2009. Their famous installations include the wrapping of the Reichstag in Berlin and the Pont Neuf Bridge in Paris. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Solar powered floating farms could help feed the world. Barcelona based company Forward Thinking Architecture has developed a solar powered floating farm system that could ease growing global food demand. 
Smart Floating Farms, or SFF, was inspired by traditional grid-shaped fish farms in Asia. Each SFF is 200 meters wide and 350 meters long, roughly the size of six football fields. They can be connected to form a cluster of modules. Photovoltaic panels are installed on the top level to harvest sunlight for electricity, and it has rainwater collectors for irrigation purposes. Other renewable energy technologies, such as micro-wind turbines, may also be added. The second level is a greenhouse for the vegetables, which are grown without soil under the hydroponic system. The plants receive natural light from the skylight opening. The ground level is used as a fish farm on the open sea and features a fish egg hatchery, a slaughterhouse and a storage room for the fish. By using farms in nearby waters as a food source, the SFF can help reduce reliance on imported food. All the modules are centrally controlled by software via cloud technology. The production data will be analyzed and can be used to make comparisons on the food needs for specific cities. Each SFF is estimated to have a maximum production of just over 8 tons of vegetables and slightly over 1.7 tons of fish per year. The floating farms are ideal for densely populated cities near coastal areas, such as Los Angeles, New York, Tokyo, Singapore, and Hong Kong. As the world's population increases, food demand is expected to increase 50% by 2030 and 70% by 2050.